Hello, it's Jane here from craftwithjane.co.uk and I have made for you, I'm not sure what I'm going to call this, I think it could be a gift envelope slash pouch. Um, so it's a little thank you gift um, and it's got belly band, so I'm going to take the belly band off and as you can see it's made sort of like a little envelope pocket just there um, it's got some stamping dimensions in it so I designed this project and made it to um, fit the stamping dimensional so I, I started with those um, and then I um, made my directions for the measurements and the scoring and the things like that uh, around the actual dimensional uh, the packet of dimensionals themselves so this is my project today I'm going to uh, show you how I made it. So the DSP that I've used to create this is from Sweet Symmetry DSP and the piece of paper that I've picked uh, used these three colours within it, also basic white. So this is Just Jade, Calypso Coral and Bumblebee. They're lovely, uh, lovely sort of complementing colours. Uh, so those are what I'm working with today. So I'm going to get my piece of DSP and my scoreboard for you. So this DSP measures six by 12, so you shall get two of these out of a sheet. Um, and on the long side, so on the 12 inch side, I'm gonna score at three and at eight. On the short side, I'm going to score at half. Oops, sorry about that, bear with me a second. I just, uh, not so good at doing this in shot, so bear with me, half, and at five and a half. There we go. I'm sure I made that look a little bit tougher than it was meant to be, apologies. So, I'm just going to pop that there, and I'm just going to get my bone folder. It's looking a little bit worse for wear. I very loved this bone folder, um, and I'm going to burnish burnish uh, the folds of the school lines that I've just made. There we go. And then I'm going to do the edge ones here. So this part here will create my pocket and this will be my lid. So the only bit that needs to keep these half inch corner pieces would be this part here which is going to create the pocket. So I'm going to get my paper snips here and I'm going to look at the score line and I'm going to mitre in ever so slightly. I'm not sure if you can see that just there. Actually if I turn it this way you might have a better, nope better for you to see it that way if you can. So I've got my first score line mark there, so I'm going to cut there. I'm going to do the same on the other side. So just there. That's great. And now I'm going to cut down here. Now you can use a trimmer for this, um, but you can also um, use your scissors. So I'm going to use my trimmer to make the cut. So I'm going to fold in this piece here, and I'm going to put my DSP so it's on the half inch line and I'm going to bring this down to four and I'm going to run my trimmer along and that takes out quite neatly and I'm going to do the same on the other side so I'm going to move that to the half inch line there we go and I'm going to go Upwards this time I'm going to stop at the four. There we go. Perfect. Lovely. So that was my trimmer. And that has given me a good edge to work with. So I'm going to use my tear and um, tape adhesive. Uh, so this is the full roll just here and I have the remnants of a previous roll and I'm going to just put that on either side. There we go. 
Okay. There we go. And then I'm going to take these off with my pick tool. Like that one. And this one. There we go. Oops, took that off rather speedily, so I've got still got a bit just here, so I'll get this bit up. There we go. Gosh, I'm making a meal of this, apologies. So that's there. I think that was more uh, the tradesman than the tools, if I'm perfectly honest. Uh, so now I'm going to close this up and I'm going to do the first one along the edge and then I'm going to do the second one as well and by virtue of doing it along the edge you do kind of create a little a little pouch area you can see you do sort of create a little area just there and I'm going to put my dimensionals in that little sort of formed pouch and bring the top over and that's lovely. So now I'm going to round the corners with my corner punch. I'll just pop this here and do the same on this side. There we go, lovely. And you can see I've got two lovely rounded corners there. So the next stage, I'm going to take a 11 inch by one inch strip of the bumblebee, which is one of the coordinating papers, and I'm going to try and put it in the middle as best I can and just gently fold this around. And this is going to create my belly band. So I'll just give it a little squeeze at the top and the bottom there. And that sort of gives me my fold. And then I'm going to take my tearing tape and I'm going to put some on the inside at the top just here and then on the front of this one just at the top area there we go and I'm going to use my pick tool to take off the backing tape there we go that's one bit there we go, and that's the other. So now I'm going to put these back around. Around my dimensionals. And I'm going to do my best to gently line these up. There we go. So if I press firmly on there, this is my belly band completed there. So it is worth noting that with directional paper, obviously the direction of the paper is going the wrong way around here, but I'm, I'm content with that So um, because the pattern's pretty, pretty cool. It sort of has an uh, all a Keeley feel to it for me and uh, Kath Kidson sort of uh, 70s vibe. Uh, so um, that is a belly band which does move, um, I say. Okay. Yeah, there we go. It does move. It takes a little bit of effort, but it definitely moves. There we go. I'll put that back on. Super. And I'm now uh, going to show you how I made the little embellishment to and the sentiment stick on there, which is this one just here. So I took I took the Insymmetry uh, stamp set and I used the Thanks So Much. I also used this cute little coordinating flower as well to just stamp just a little bit of a flower. And I wanted to make it look like it was coming off the S of the thanks. So I've used that. I then used the Tasteful Label dies. This is such a brilliant set of dies. It's so versatile. And I used the, circle, the larger circle pattern circle one for this background, which I to me felt like it might be a rising sun in the coordinating colours and I used this shape as well to cut the sentiment out so I'll just pop that to one side and finally I have a real love 
um, and, and I'm using these a lot in my projects. So the 2021-2023 in colour jewels and the pale papaya one's got quite a yellowish um, sort of colour to it. So I used it, I'll just bring it up to the camera, just used it here um, to make it uh, um, seem like a little, just a little bit of extra sparkle and pizzazz and it goes really well with the bumblebee. So to secure this, I'm actually going to use some Stampin' Dimensionals. I feel like that's quite ironic with the, the gift inside. So I'm just going to put two just about there and I'll take the backing off. There we go, just there. And I'll put my sentiment on. There we go, lovely. So that, these are my little gift envelope style pouches. I think I'll probably call them gift pouches. Um, and they both house some stamping dimensionals and I think they'll make a perfect um, thank you gift for anybody purchasing from my store next month. So um, I hope you enjoyed my uh, video today. I would love you to like um, the video. Please comment, I answer all comments. And um, if you subscribe, I'd be so grateful. If you would like to shop with me, um, you can follow the links to my store uh, in the video description. I also have a complimenting blog to support this video. And there'll be all the dimensions on there for you. Um, so thank you very much for watching and happy crafting.